not true. That's not true. Somebody loves you. No. God loves you. He made you, Tim. He knows you. And he knows what it's going to take to get you to believe him. Look at me. There's somebody he wants you to meet. In this corner, the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad Ali. What's going on? Mr. Ali is a friend of ours, Tim, and I'm an angel, just like Andrew and Raphael. An angel? Like a dead person? Oh, no, like a live angel, created for a purpose. And tonight, our job is to deliver a message to you with the man that you most want to be like. I want you to listen to him very carefully, Tim. I want you to listen to his heart. Well, um... He wants you to know that God loves you, and he's given you a talent for the sport of boxing. And it's made you strong. And that's good. But strength is not just about muscle. You have to know what you're fighting for. That's right. What do you mean? Well, did it ever occur to you that your Uncle Frank and your brother Stephen might be in as much pain as you? Maybe more. You see, little brothers and big brothers fight all the time. Now, you might have had it rougher than most, but I want to tell you that your brother loves you. I know he doesn't know how to show it because he's very busy trying to survive, but he loves you and he needs you very much. Your Uncle Frank, well, he complains that you brought difficulty into his life. But let me tell you something. Before you came along, he had nothing at all to care for. You might very well be the best thing that ever happened to him. Baby, your fight is not with some bully on the school ground. Your fight is for your family. No. He says if you're not fighting out of love, it's just a fight and you'll never win. Do you understand? He's got a poem for you. Come here, Tim. Now, you can float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. But if you want to be a winner like Muhammad Ali, you'll fight the good fight that love can give. Because love is the greatest and the best way to live. matter? I, um, I met a bunch of angels last night. Right. No. I did. So you listen. Now, you didn't ask for us. And we didn't ask for you. My mom dumped us on you. And that's just the way it is. Now, we're family. And I know that means something. I love my brother. And I love you. So things have got to change. Did you just say you love me? Yeah. And maybe you don't know yet, but you love us too. See, so you gotta start showing it. I mean, we're just kids, you know? You gotta start taking better care of us. My brother is sick. And he needs all kinds of special help and you're gonna make sure he gets it. 
instead of fighting dogs all the time. You can get a real job, you know. You just don't want to. But I'll help. We're going to be a real family with a real dog. What are you doing here? There's something I want to say to you, Frank. You may find this hard to believe, but those kids have guardian angels. And we're going to be watching over them. We're going to be watching you, too. We. Oui.